Hi, this is Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer program, and today's boiler we're looking at is electric boiler. This is the electric boiler here, and we've got also an unvented cylinder. So, before I start, just a general safety warning make sure you carry all electrical tests, uh, make sure it's all safe before you start working. I'll just show you what the problem is at the moment. We're not getting no water, but the heat inside are working. So I'm just going to turn the heating on by pressing that button there. And hopefully you'll hear it starts up in a second. You can hear the pump running. So this is a pump here, which sends a flow up through the unit and out the flow and you can hear that it's activating for central heating this is a central heating zone valve and that's the hot water zone valve so what I'm going to do now turn on Turn off the heating and turn the hot water on, and we'll see what happens on that. Okay, so it's all gone off and it's all dead. So, no hot water, no activation. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to check for power going to or from the timer going to the motorized valve. So I'm going to use my multimeter to check the voltages. So what we're going to do, I'm going to check the voltage. Now this is the power coming from the timer to the motorized valve motor. So you can see this 240 volts there. So that means it is the motorized valve. What's that fault? So we're going to obviously turn everything off and change the motorized valve. I'm in process of um, changing the motorized valve. What I've done, um, I've took the body off the front of the pack, well, front of the um, motorized valve, this is the old one. I've undone the screws, there's two screws which are inside the um, housing. That's one there, and there's another one on the other side loosen them, obviously removing the cover first and then pull that off the body. This is the body and these are the screws which are located what they screw into and that just pulls away from that so you get this type of situation and then I'm gonna disconnect the wires inside the uh, wiring center so that's the wire coming up and I'm going to disconnect each one at a time shove the new wire through and then swap them over and then that'll be the full conversion complete and I've got it back on hot water only and hopefully should it start up again there's a click pumps running Unit's now activated, so it's all fully operational. So that's a hot water valve, motorized valve done. So that's the end of this video for today. So don't forget to tidy up once you finish, do all your safety checks, make sure everything's all good. And I hope to see you soon on the next video. So thank you for watching.